All right, so I got my Google Glass in the mail today. This is the Explorer's Edition. Charcoal color. So we're going to see what's in the box. So right here on the inside of the top of the box, so you turn it on by pressing the power button, adjust the nose bridge, and position the display to see the whole screen clearly. And along the top of the box, this this smoky paper is just glued very gently along the edges. And here's the glass itself. Initial feeling is I'm surprised at how light it is. It is, you know, slightly more heavy along this side, obviously, that it has all the components. Um, this piece of crystal right here is actually pretty interesting. Um, I had never noticed in the pictures that I've seen before of the, the diagonal angle inside of that where the lens reflects the, the display from this end right here. Pretty interesting. This this part right here almost feels plastic, even though I know they say that it's metal. It has a plastic feel to it. it. Does flex a little bit here and there. Apparently, you can adjust these just by bending them a little bit. It says the display should fit just above your field of vision. Here inside of the box, it says listen. So this is where the speaker actually connects with your skull. There's no speakers on it; just communicates through vibrations. Got your on/off button and then a touch panel along the side, and then you have a camera button right here which actually uh, starts and stops the camera taking pictures and videos. So anyway, let's see what's in the rest of the box. It's also got the same micro USB charging port that most cell phones have nowadays. I'm gonna grab this tab and lift up. This pouch has been crafted using Japanese microfiber made from recycled materials. Designed to be both light and durable. Take this with you. Protect your glass and accessories. So this bag right here. So this is the little headphones that it comes with. Go ahead and just pull this out. So this is a little earbud. Apparently this just sits right inside of your ear. Then you can roll up or roll down the cord interesting little bag. It kind of feels like felt along the outsides. And it's a uh, hard plastic down here at the bottom to protect the, the glass as it sits inside of there, I guess. And here we have a charger for it. And the data cable to charge it up. And then right here, looks like we have a few more pieces for the nose bridge. And a set of instructions. And that is it. I plan on messing around with this for the next couple weeks. I'll make another video here in about a week or so when I get a feel for uh, how it works. And eventually I hope to do a teardown on this. Plan on taking it apart and showing all the internal components and how it's all put together. Anyway, if you have any questions or if you have anything you want me to test out for you, go ahead and leave those in the comments below and I'll try to get around to them as many as possible. Don't forget to like if this video is interesting and don't forget to subscribe. I plan on putting up uh, quite a few videos in the future.
along with the glass itself it also came with an extra lens for the sunglasses This is that same felt like material that the other bag is made out of. Alright, you see this little tab on the back. If you put it between the nose bridge and just kind of twist it up into place, it locks on the lenses to the front of the glass. And there you go. Overall, pretty handy little device. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video is interesting to you, and don't forget to subscribe. Right now, obviously, the price tag of these things is a little bit dull, uh, but uh, we'll see if it's justifiable. Thanks for watching.